Please remember to like, subscribe, and never forget to ring that bell. Welcome, everybody, to a very revealing show, The Mass Singer. I know exactly who this is. God. What is up, everyone? I'm Chris Knight, and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with another episode of Unmasking the Masked Singer. Yes, we are there. The finale for season seven is finally here tomorrow. But before we can talk about the finale, before we can talk about the champions from group A, B, and C, and who I think is going to win, and who I think these people are, and the final look at all that, guys, we got to talk about episode nine. And what can I say? It turned out just as I thought it would. The only difference is, is that I didn't realize how good all three performances really were going to be. And, you know, I was quite happy with the outcome, but I was even more happy with the competition level that it felt like it had um all three or let's go five all five people behind the mask uh did a really 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 great job but let's get to the recap and then we can break down the final reveals now up first was the prince singing a great version of stevie wonder's sir duke song that i absolutely do love and a song like on name that tune that most people don't get because they don't really know that that's the name of the song anyway after that performance um, I have to say my hunch that the Prince would be going to the final seemed confirmed. It just seemed like a sure thing. I was like, that's such a great, such a great version. Staying it, had a lot of energy behind it. And what can I say? The Space Bunny was up next. And he's saying, now that we found love by Heavy D and the boys, and I think it featured Aaron Hall on their version. But when Space Bunny did that song, my sureness faltered on me thinking that the prince had this in the bag. I, I just had to say, um, the prince just did so great. I was surprised at how well he did with not only the rap, but the singing. It was crazy good. I mean, really knowing who it is now and knowing who I guess, I, I was really, really kind of happily surprised. I was like, wow, I didn't know he could do this good. Lastly, War of the Queen Cobra, let's just say, um, we know it's Cobras now, and I said last week, I believe it was going to be Cobras, plural. But um, they sang Leave the Door Open by Silk Sonic. Now, after their performance, I, I honestly really didn't know who would be going home. I, I looked at it, I was like, man, they all three did really well. Um, I still felt like the Prince was going to go, but I just wasn't really sure. I, it's like, this was real competition here. And then, of course, lastly, and of course, not my favorite, was the group singing. Um, now all three performers sang Roar by Katy Perry. And, and this is where, like I said, even after their performances and then on stage during this song, I have to say that this only complicated things in my opinion. Um, Space Bunny was on point, sounded great doing the song. Um, it wasn't like watching Dog just be totally like outshone, uh, outshone by other singers. Um, but the Queen Cobras and Prince were great too. It, it just was really difficult. So again, if this were really decided by um, a, a vote, then, you know, this would have been really, really tough. Now, again, I don't think it's decided by a vote, but what can I say? Now, um, like I said, it wasn't like any other group singing. It, it, this was a true showdown. So if real voting, it, it was in it, um, I'm not sure it would have been that easy to pick print. Now let's talk about the new clues we got and who were unmasked. Uh, so 
We'll start with Prince. Um, I have said it's Cheyenne Jackson. I still believe it's Cheyenne Jackson. Uh, we talked. He talked a little bit about you know he had a special gift to give to the world and how he traveled trying to get his voice out there and nobody listened and then he kind of caught a break and people started seeing his talent and recognizing him for that talent. Also, we saw Carnegie Hall sheet music, airplane bats flying in a scary forest and watch. Not sure about the watch of the forest and bat, but I know that Carnegie Hall, I know that Cheyenne Jackson has performed there. That's a pretty big thing. Not anybody can perform there. So that kind of lines up with him. Sheet music lines up with him because he's a performer, Broadway singer, all that stuff. Uh, the airplane, again, travel. You have to travel a lot to be in that line of work. So I'm pretty sure that that lines up with everything that we said before this, and I still think it's Cheyenne Jackson. Now, the next person, Space Bunny, came out. Uh, let's see here. He said he came um, he came from a place where everything was about people and how time slowed down, how he loved it there. Uh, talked about his mom moving to the city and how he didn't want to forget where he came from. Talked about his friends kind of getting into bad stuff and how he stayed on his path and became the tough rabbit you see today. Um, now we saw angels on both wings, or both angle, angels on both shoulders, sorry guys. Um, a crown, trail of carrots, boom box, and a drill. I know the boom box lines up perfectly with Shaggy. The angels on both shoulders, absolutely. The song Angel that he had out. Um, the crown, I'm not positive. The trail of carrots, not positive. The drill, not positive. But that voice, everything still led me to believe it was Shaggy. And yeah, we, you know, we would have never changed our guess on that. Not from the first get go. Uh, Queen Cobra, we said um, since uh, last week that it was going to be in vogue. And we saw uh, in their clue package, I believe, Charlie's Angel photo, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Zero Price Tag, and uh, what was the era of photo of Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion. I am a saxophone player. Now, I'm not really sure. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of going with divas here, or divas, and I think that's uh, referring to the in vogue as divas. Um, then the zero price tag, never going to get it. Like, it's not for sale, or my love's not for sale. I think that might have been one of their songs. I'd, I'd have to go back and look. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I know they were on like an MTV to go, par or party to go album with Red, oh, that had Red Hot Chili Peppers on it too, maybe. That's, that's about uh, the Charlie's Angel photo, I think, was to signify that there are three of them. Uh, other than that, uh, I know that they talked about um, how they came from different worlds, how they were all equally talented. Um, they tried different things to find success, but it wasn't until fate stepped in and they discovered they were their greatest gift. It was basically all of them together. That was their strength, with them together. Now, I do know that Invo was originally a foursome, but it was a threesome before that. What's funny is, I believe it was Terry Ellis who was supposed to fly in to try out. She, her plane was late. She couldn't make it. And they basically had decided it's just going to be this threesome here. And she made it soon after everybody else had tried out and they heard her try out and they said, we got to put her in. So they changed the idea from three to four and Fate stepped in. I think that's what that fate stepped in thing was about. Um, yeah, so basically, my again, my guess wouldn't have changed from Invo. And we know that Face Money was Shaggy and that Queen Cobra was in Vogue, or and that was Terry Ellis, Cindy Heron, and Ro Rona Bennett. Now, Cindy and Terry were a part of the original foursome that is now threesome with Rona. And so that was really cool. That's two correct guesses. That actually gives us, I believe, uh, I'm trying to think here. That believe that makes us eight right, one wrong. Duff Goldman was a material, no guess, first appearance, of course. Uh, Joe Buck Ram was a correct guess by us. Uh, Jorge Garcia from Lost. We said Michael Roker for Cyclops. We were wrong, the wrong guess. Uh, Jordan Malata was a thingamabob. That was a correct guess. Christy Brinkley was lemur, no guess, first appearance. Um, Penn Teller was Hydra, correct guess by us. Um, then episode six was Dwayne the Dog, Dog the Bounty Hunter Chapman was the Armadillo. That was a correct guess. 
Jennifer Holiday was Miss Teddy. That was a correct guess. Then episode seven, it was not an official guess. I did guess the tattoo uh, Rudy Giuliani was going to be. I guessed he would be the Jack in the Box, and he was. But it was a first appearance. I don't count that. So uh, that's who that was. Episode eight, Chrissy Alley was voted off. And she was the baby mammoth. That was correct guess. And then, of course, episode nine, Shaggy, Space Bunny, correct guess. In Vogue, Queen Cobras, correct guess. Eight right, one wrong. And still mad about that. Oh, God. You know, same thing as Baby Alien. Oh, well. So that leaves us with group A, B, and C champions coming from Team Good. Now, I think I thought at the beginning of the season, I think I said that I believed it was going to be Team Good, Bad, and Cuddly was going to each get one. Well, they didn't do that. So maybe it isn't as planned as I thought. But um, Group A champion was Firefly. Group B champion was Ringmaster. And Group C champion is Prince. I've already talked about Prince. I still believe it's Cheyenne Jackson. But the Group A champion, guys, um, yeah, that was uh, Firefly. And I think I said Tiana Taylor. Again, the New York Clues. Uh, she was born in Harlem, the Apollo Theater. She performed there. Uh, what else? Um, Tyler Perry's in there. She's been in some of his movies. She was um, on a record contract with Pharrell Williams. He was in that Doja Cat woman uh, music that, that kind of confirms her queen status because I think that was on there. Uh, there's a lots of stuff there, but I, I don't see that being anybody but Tiana Taylor. Then Ringmaster, um, Haley or 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 Tina or Oran Tia. I gotta say this right, guys. <laughs> Crazy. Um, the Hannah, Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus reference. Uh, she did do backing vocals for her. Um, the X for the Tic Tac Toe board, um, I believe, is for X Factor, which is why she said, Hey, it's good to see you again, Nicole. And the guitar, I think, was a direct reference to the fact she plays a lot of guitar in the um, Goldbergs. Um, then again, the Golden State, I think, on the driver's license is a reference to the Goldbergs also. So I'm not going to change my guess on Haley or Antia. Now, who's going to win between Cheyenne Jackson, Tiana Taylor, and Haley or Antia? Okay, I think that Tiana Taylor is a good singer. I think she's really good, and I think she's very talented. But I really believe Haley is going to do better than her. So I think it's between Haley and and uh, Cheyenne Jackson. Now, who would I want to win? I'd love to see Haley win because she um, is more of an actress, but she has an amazing voice and it's so great that I'm surprised she hasn't really gotten out there. So I would love to see Haley go. But if I had to say between the three of them, I would go with Ring. I really think Ringmaster is going to pull this out. I think Haley is going to pull this out. Um, she's going to bring something that nobody else can imagine she'd bring. So we will return next week and talk about that. We'll see if we were right. Let me know down in the comments if you think I'm right on the people who are left. If you think I'm right on who's going to win this. And let me know all down in the comments, guys. With that said, I am Chris Knight. This has been The Real Review 3000. And I'm officially out of here. Please remember to like, subscribe, and never forget to ring that bell. Follow Chris Knight and The Real Review 3000 on these platforms. For email and Patreon, see the description box below. To reach The Ego, use the Twitter handle at The Ego 5150. We would like to thank the generous members of The Real Review 3000. Those members are JJ, aka Sithlord3827, Anzo of Big Afford Entertainment, Yvette, Sean Stackhouse, Captain Trek, Jesse Ritchie, and Abraham Morales. Thank you for your support and donations that help us at The Real Review 3000 bring you, the viewer, better content. For information on how to become a member, click the join button below.